was. <laughs> she got it on tape. We actually got it on tape for you. So you, you can, can put this one next to the Barbera one. <laughs> <laughs> this is up there. This is one of the better ones. Mm. Oh, no, that's delicious. Smooth. And it, it has no, you know, uh, in any way, it's like as clean as it was like when it started. You know, you would even... It would have been fruitier then. No, I mean in the mustiness, I mean, oh. that old age smell, you know, like... The nutty you, smell. Yeah, that, that age smell, not mustiness is a bad word, but you know, nutty. that age, the, nutty smell. Nutty. Yeah, when it gets, you know, really old and stuff, this is like, it's in its prime, you know. It's just coming to its prime. Very mellow, you know. You can just like breathe it like air. No nope. tart, dry, a little bit of fruit. Maybe cherries. Mm. Yeah, maybe some black cherries. Doesn't seem to have a lot of sediment mixed in. The color's good. It's a little dark, though. Better than being white. <laughs> right. No, just a little dark, but it's still clear, you know, clean. It's uh, got a tinge of a little rust on the outside, which means it's mellowing nicely, you know. And if you and get it still right has angle. legs on the glass. Yeah. It's, it, the alcohol's there. It's got a good, good, you know, I don't think it's lost hardly any alcohol. Uh, Where was it in the bottle, you know? The neck? Oh, the, no, it was just the below. shoulders? No. Just the top just of the shoulders. The, is this the shoulder here? This is the shoulder, yeah. Yeah, all right, so just below the shoulders. This is the, when it starts to get wide, it was just into there. That's cool. That's not, you know, that's about average for a 74, I think, you know. Well, it seems like a lot of them I'm pulling out are between there and just a little bit above there. You're talking 35 years. Yeah, well. You know, it's maybe been in the bottle 33. Yeah, but good, good to have a damp cellar. <laughs> <laughs> the river runs through. <laughs> the river runs through your cellar. <laughs> this has been sitting in the same place since 1980. Since 1980. That's when wow. we got to this house. Go Before through. that, lived in Sonoma County. Then lived shortly in Fort Lauderdale. Danger zone. <laughs> Danger zone. Air conditioned where it was absolutely the whole time. And uh, then came here. Mm. Well, it survived well. I mean, it really did. It's a, it's a good one. I love it. This one's one of those ones I like to remember. And a great surprise because I knew nothing about this. Let's see the whole thing. It's like, you know, you can go to those wineries and if you know that, you know, this person was did this and that and that's why he's, you know, whatever, you know, he's got the grapes and, you know, the whole thing. Well, you, know, you can take advantage of a certain, you know. On that level, if you can find yourself Bolu Private Reserve, 1970, there was a gentleman there that was the winemaker that became the, you know, the granddaddy consultant in the Napa Valley. Tarishnikov was his last name, I think, Alexei or something. He came over to Bolu right after Prohibition and shepherded through the war and into, you know, becoming what it became. And he was a grandmaster for sure. We used to have bottles in the basement of that. I think they got drank at one point, though. <laughs> <laughs> they were very, very good. <laughs> I mean, there's something about a cab, you know, I mean, that's why I'm into Bordeaux, but uh, you get a good cab and... Well, Bordeaux and cabs are not the same. Bordeaux blend, you know, these days a lot of California boys are, you know, get into let's blend. And the point no, was, no, Bordeaux and Cabernet are not the same thing. Cabernet is Cabernet and Bordeaux is a blend. Bordeaux but is consistent. They blend it's so that... It's a blend! So it that is. every... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's right, they blend so it's consistent, yes. Absolutely. Right. Because they're like, they're a different mentality, you know, if you want to go like with a, a Burgonian type of style of, you know, the individual, you know, type of thing. Well, that's and it changes. more. I'm saying changes, yeah. but I'm talking the style of changing every year with what's happening. Well, that's where Bordeaux right. wants to be perfect every year, you yeah, know. Yeah, well. So they've learned that they, if they 
have this. You know, we may alter a little here or there. This Abs are individual. The every year is there's different. There's the good. There's the gr absolutely great years. There's the good. There's the wonderful years. And then there's every other year that's more or less okay. You know. Then today, you know, when I look at what's generally available, it seems to be, you know, tending towards a little bit of blends, more than you used to see. The, the first blend you saw when I lived out in California was called the Val. And we know what called the Val did in that 76 thing, but then again, why did they do that? Well, because the guy right. from California owned the vineyard. And the winemaker was the second son of Lafitte. Right. And, and he said, make a blend. To blend. Yeah. <laughs> right, absolutely. And that's how you're going to win. Yeah, that's how you, you know, but i got to say that was equal footing. The Cabernet didn't win. The Claude de Val won the red. You know, that was a blend. Right. Because, some, the, the, you know, the, to get the consistency and of that, what you and want. The, you know, in the movie that they got, you know, the Chardonnay was about the Chardonnay from, what was it, single. Mount St. Helena, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, a Chardonnay is a Chablis is supposed to be Chardonnay or... 100% if it's going to be called a Chablis. Chablis yeah. Right, yeah, so it was Chardonnay versus Chardonnay. Right, it was on equal you know? footing, but... Yeah. And, and called the Val one because, not that it was because it was a Cabernet, it just happened to be from California and they beat them at their own game because it was the sun with feet making a blend. Well, and what was the one? Cabernet, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot. Yeah. Isn't that Bourbon, uh, Bordeaux? Basically, depending on the amounts of the blend, you know, they get it right in any particular year. Yeah. Well, yeah, you put it, hey, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> you got to understand, look, these people have a different mentality. Their mentality is, we have learned that we can come up with a lot more great years oh, yeah. than these guys over here who won't adjust the you know like that situation so like i like the, to have more of these but you california know, any year was a great year compared to france because the weather was all the same you know it was sunny and didn't I rain till, i don't know if that didn't rain till october year. you know <laughs> No, you know, I mean, like, you know, look. You there's, know, there's better years, of course, you know. Yeah, and there's my better history, vineyards, there's, too. There's I mean, better look, vineyards, better soil, better everything, you know, right. of course. You, you know that. I mean, like, you were the first one to uh, turn me on to Martha's Vineyard, you know. I mean, uh, you know, in the, uh, what's the other one, Vineyard, that they got, too? Uh, oh, uh, the was Faye. Faye's Vineyard, yeah. Faye's now, Vineyard. Faye is Stag's Leap, I believe. Well, yeah, but it used to be Faye, right. too, yeah. Well, okay. I mean, there's, you know, but the, it was the vineyard, it was the grapes. It's, it was the it, guy that did it, Right, too. so like when you get into Bordeaux, they own everything and they know exactly, it's, it's flat, it's perfect. This is what, <laughs> it's, it's not like yeah. this hilly terrain and stuff then, where this one's good, this one isn't, this one's good. Well, you gotta you know, right it's spot. all great. <laughs> yeah, because you blend. Ah, uh, no. You know, no, what, what happened when you put a blend from California against the blend? A blend from thing, yes, okay. But it was a Frenchman who did it. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. But Trained in, in their style. Trained in their style, as right. far as me. Absolutely. Well, okay, well, let's look at champagne right now. When you look at it, you know, I mean, like, you, you take something that's silly, and, the, and they'll call it champagne out there. They did for so many years. And until the French moved in again, you know, and said, let's do it in the, you know... Uh, well, we always the, had Stramsburg. The you know, the true, you know, way. Well, with no, the, no, no, we always had Stramsburg. Stramsburg, yeah. And you turned me on to, I still, you know, have one of your Stramsburg you gave me. You know, those were great wines. Oh, yeah, and they still know? are. You can buy a current one and they're still a wonder in life, too. Uh, you know, that I'll admit. No, it was the only California sparkling wine that I enjoyed, you know, yeah, until the, the French came. It was the only got thing that, that I ever... <laughs> Sean. The only thing I ever thanked Mr. Nixon for was Stramsburg because I didn't even know it was on the radar until I sort of took it to China with him. Said, oh, that's up the valley. We better go try that. <laughs> right. Yeah, I knew nothing until you gave me a couple of them, and I went, my gosh, they can make wine out there. That's <laughs> drinkable. <laughs> you know, it's not my wine. <laughs> it was like yeah. French or nothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I might lower myself too. <laughs>